Hello people that in the house there and today I just want to talk about something because of an article I read today unfortunately some poor young girl from a part of the Baltics, Romania uh, we don't even think Romania is in the Baltic but around that area has killed herself because of online abuse and online bullying and you know she was only 14 and you know but it's tragic you know there's no better or there's no word to describe you know how you can hear about a young person killing themselves it's not easy it's not easy to hear about it and it's only not easy for me i take that very close to heart to be honest with you. um and mental health problems and suicide and i take them very close to heart that's something that's always you know directly in my heart and always with me i suppose you could say and that's why i'm here to say you know somebody the story the story i was reading you know it was basically uh, people had tried to they tried to get power over her, i suppose you could say trying to control what she was doing tried to control everything about her and you know and it just goes back nobody should have control over everybody everybody's a free human um you know nobody should ever have any control over anybody's life and everybody should be allowed to make their own decisions you know whether it be good or bad um obviously you can advise people but these people try to take complete control of her life and she obviously couldn't put up with it um and it's tragic that nobody's you know nobody spoke out into now about it and people were saying you know i knew about it and was afraid to say something and you know it's, the damage has been done but hopefully by me speaking out and by other people speaking out over their country hopefully people uh, people might hear you know that you know you have to stand up for yourself people who bully you know usually when they are being you know usually when people stand up to them they back down because that's what bullies are. They don't like being challenged. They don't like being challenged. They they take it themselves as the supreme authority. And I would say to people, you know, don't stand up to them. Stand up to them. Never back down from them. Never give up on them. Like, because you're in the right. If they're bullying you, you're in the right. You have every right to stand up for yourself. And for your rights. Because you're entitled to be free. And you're entitled to this, decide your own future. Decide your own part. Decide whatever you want to be. Or whatever you want to do. Whatever, wherever you want to go. And nobody should be saying, you know, you should do this, you should do that, you should send this, you can't do that, you know, you know, that's more or less a dictatorship. Um, and, you know, I say to the bullies that it happened to, you know, shame on them, shame on them. They should be named and shamed, to be honest, over in their country and throughout the wider world because, you know, it's, you know, it's sick. It's sick that people do that, that to try and take advantage of people, try and control people. Um... And I just say to people, you know, if you are going through things like that, please, please, the one thing you need to do and the one thing that's best for you is to speak out. Speak. Tell whoever you can. Tell whoever you can. Tell the random person on the street. But just speak. Don't let them get to your head. Don't let them bully you into submission. Don't let them control you. And always, you know, always stand up for yourself. Never feel like you can't stand up for yourself. And, you know... Force tell somebody and then stand up for yourself and never back down no matter if they seem like the biggest toughest cuts in the country You know, there's always somebody who's tougher than them and that's something we have to remember And you know, they are bullies generally, you know, the thing I find about bullies You know, they always fear something, they're not, they're not invincible You know, they might not fear, they might not care less about the law but there'll be somebody down the street maybe that have uh, terrified of them And you know, they, they have to remind them, say that to bodies, you know, take, take, take. You know, as think about this, like, this poor girl was living in agony. Like, God knows for how long. Being controlled. And, you know, it's, it's desperate, it's, you know, it's desperate news. But, you know, we have to always, you know, try and learn from what happened to try and perfect it from happening again. You no, know, but it is difficult. It is difficult. I'm not gonna lie to people. It is difficult, and you know, hopefully by people speaking out, hopefully by people speaking out in the whole community and whole country, and by me doing a tiny bit and speaking out too. You know, maybe people might be influenced to you know speak because that's the one. That's how things get done if you speak about it. If you talk about it. To, and to keep it in your head and to 
keep it inside, it's obviously going to kill you. It's going to bust at some stage. The bubble's going to bust. Because it all just gets on top of you and it piles up and it piles up and it piles up. And, you know, it makes you feel terrible in yourself. And when you talk to somebody, you know, it's weight off your chest. And I know I'm talking from experience for bullying. It is a weight off your chest as soon as you get it out. It might feel like it's the toughest thing you're ever going to say to somebody, I need help because this fellow's bullying me or this girl's bullying me. But when you get it out, you know, half of the battle is won. But it's just, you know, speaking, not being afraid. And don't bow to them. That's the simplest that I say to people. Never, ever bow to them. And never let anybody control you, no matter who they are. Thank you.